Jesus won't take that thing to give you a chance. They don't know the Lord that you can give your life to God. They don't count these as concerts and best best musicals. We like to refer to them as worship experiences. I can tell you church in the past year or so that the truth of the matter is that whenever we do come to the house of God, we're really not the only ones. God is the only one. We come in as worshipers, we should come in as true worshipers. The scriptures that they need to worship him with the spirit as well as the truth. And so we want to take our people like to give God the to give them that people alone if we don't know. Then perhaps you might be saying, I am saved, which I'm happy you're not a part of in this church. And I'm not necessarily trying to get to join you in the Baptist church. There are many churches that are going to here tonight. And tonight, Aggressive, shallow, see members from other churches here. They don't have to be a church here in St. Paul, but be a church in Minneapolis. The Lord may be letting on your heart, I promise you. We give you instructions, directions, and I become a member of anybody's church. So if you hear the night, you're not saying, I'm a member of anybody's church. And further, they can maybe say, I am saying. I am a church. And I'll spray away. This is how people like to come back to Christ. We connect with him. I pray throughout this, this worship experience that you accept the presence of God. And after he's been determined at your heart, he said, you know, I need to get it right. And I need to get it right right now. Tomorrow is not promised. Yesterday is long gone. All you have is right now. And the decisions you make right now can determine your eternal destiny. Someone made a mistake one day and said, well, nobody would really know if they're going to heaven or not. But well, I made the difference. Yeah. The Gospel of John chapter 10 says in verse 28 that if you are saved, you've been redeemed, that you're in the Son's hand. Then the next verse says in John 10, 29 that if you are saved, you've been redeemed, that you're in the Father's hand. He wanted to say that no man and walk you out. And then Ephesians 1 and 13 says that if you're saying the very name of the blood of Jesus that you have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Ain't that good news? To have true protection, to be in the Son's hand, and the Son's hand to be in the Father's hand, then to be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Well, my late grandmother, Lori Pounds, from the past, back in those numbers, 2010, she only finished the eighth grade. She didn't, she didn't talk like that. She didn't have that kind of vocabulary. But when Mama got happy, she put it this way, Mississippi. She said, I'm wrapped up. I'm tied up. I'm tangled up. Mama put a hand on my hip and looked up and said, the devil in hand can't even do me no harm. And you can leave here tonight knowing where you're trying to destiny. If you make Jesus Christ your choice, you make up your mind tonight that I, I want him to come into my life. And this is a simple prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner, and I need to be saved. And I believe that you died for my sins, and God raised you up from the dead for that purpose. Romans chapter 10, about verse 9 and 10 says, If you confess that, if you believe that, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. You don't put the name everyone will stand together, everybody praying, everybody standing, has the choir gone. They say that the Spirit is moving up on your heart. You come down that aisle. Give your life to the Lord. We sit and welcome you tonight. If that Spirit leads you tonight, you come down that aisle and say, listen, I need a good church on. And no church is a perfect church. But we serve a perfect God. And guess what this God will do? He can look beyond your faults. He can look beyond your fears. He'll come and save your soul. And listen, when you keep up with him, he'll give you joy that the world cannot give. And the world can, can give you the peace that the world cannot give. And the world can't take away. So this is your time. If you're not saved, God will stop. Now, should your salvation, why don't you come? And need a church on.
Ce mai poate și fac? This is your time. This is your hour. This is the moment that God gives to you. And I know the devil going to sit on your shoulder and look at you and wait. Not tonight. He'll say next week. You might say, what can I get back to another church? But tonight could be your last night. The Bible warns, the day you hear my voice, hard not your heart. He said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man would hear my voice, let me in. I come to the supper of him. And he would be willing to come to 30 more seconds, you got that opportunity. I'm not an hour say, Lord, I want to be saved. I want to unite with church. I want to get a right to God. This is your hour. This is your hour. You give God a chance, man. Before the day is now. And God bless you. Let me see what you do.